and welcome to Living Local. I'm Tristan Tapscott. Today we are taking another trip to the eerie side of the Quad Cities. In the book Eerie Quad Cities, authors Mark, Michael McCarty and John Brasser Jr. lead us through a dark maze of Quad Cities lore. The book inspired a series that debuted on our show last October. And today we were revisiting the creepy side of the Quad Cities with co-author and co-star of the series, Michael McCarty. Michael, welcome back to the show. Hey, how are you, man? I'm doing great. I'm Good. doing great. <laughs> Good. Well, hey, let's let's go back to the beginning and the creation of this book. Like, mm -hmm. how did this all begin for you, man? Well, I did another book called uh, Ghost of the Quad Cities, mm -hmm. and uh, I just didn't able to get everything I wanted to get in the book. There was just so much creepy stuff in the Quad Cities. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I hit my publisher up with doing another, you know, it uh, goes to the Quad Cities, and mm -hmm. they were saying, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they said, but we do have this other series called Eerie Series, and, and I go on, uh, it's about the paranormal, mm -hmm. and, you know, UFOs, and Bigfoot, and all the paranormal stuff. And I said, well, that's kind of up my alley. And so I, I thought about it, and uh, I, I thought, I really want to raise the bar higher, you know, sure. for this book. I want to uh, dig deeper for the history. I want to get mm -hmm. creepier stories. So I thought about it and thought about it, and I, I decided to work with a John Brasser Jr. And with his help, this book became a lot more better. It became a huge, oh, huge yeah, thing, it was, man. It, was, it surpassed all my expectations. It yeah, was, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about your co-author. You, you mentioned John. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Uh, have you guys always together had kind of a fascination with that kind of material, or what was your connection with John? Uh, well, what happened was when I was doing Ghost of the Quad Cities, I interviewed a lot of different experts on, mm -hmm. on you know, either history or the paranormal. And John's kind of uh, in both camps. You know? Okay, okay. <laughs> he <laughs> has a blog series. He's written local books about history. And so I, I hit him pretty hard for the uh, ghost. So when I was coming around to doing Eerie Quad Cities, I, we, we met in uh, Fairmount Cemetery. <laughs> good place to meet. Good place to meet. Good good place place to meet. meet <laughs> and uh, we talked for about three hours. I said, I really would like if you could do uh, th this book with me. Yeah. And he said yes, and the rest is history. And have you yourself always had kind of a fascination with that side of, of life, the creepy side of life? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely true. I, I, uh, I've been always fascinated with the, uh, the dark side, even though I have a day <laughs> job. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think you have to have that dark side if you have, you know, one of those, yeah. And have you just, uh, have you encountered a lot of creepy stuff, I guess? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the creepiest thing for Erie um, that I thought was really kind of, you know, kind of unusual and just was the uh, Grandview Terrace, the first chapter in the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, unfortunately, it's no longer there. But uh, yeah, it was just a, a really beautiful house, uh, manor place that mm -hmm. uh, was vandalized and just looked real creepy and just the story behind it was creepy. And you just got a weird feeling when you were there? Was that the Yeah, even though the place was uh, completely demolished, it still creeped me out. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, like even when we were, you know, filming this, like there were some like definite, because it was cold that day if you oh, remember, yeah. and it was kind of rainy and stuff. And so outside of what we covered, you know, in the series, Bigfoot, the Spider Monkey, the River Monster, and the Banshee of Brady, Brady Street, do you, do you have a favorite story from the book? You just mentioned the Grandview Terrace, but... Yeah, uh, after that, I would say probably the, uh, the former Masonic temples of this area. Oh, sure. We did sure. A uh, about three different chapters kind of wrapped into one about all the different uh, Masonic temples, and mm -hmm. they're all still around, and they're all creepy, and they all have a creepy history to them. Yeah. Even now, you know, if you go by them, they're just kind of... Give that <laughs> yeah. ooh Absolutely. feeling to him. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's and you know, speaking of that ooh feeling, <laughs> I love that this book has an introduction from the amazing Kreskin. Oh yeah. How did that happen, and, and what's your connection with him? Uh, it's a long story, but I'll, I'll tell you. If it's, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was when a. Uh, uh, when I was working at the Funny Bone Comedy Club many, 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 many moons ago, sure. uh, we needed a uh, performer, and uh, we chose the Amazing Kreskin to be the opening big performer at the club. Mm -hmm. And so the Amazing Kreskin wanted to do a seance at a local uh, place, and so I, I chose uh, Pi Kappa Chi, the fraternity of Palmer College, and so I had the Amazing Kreskin do a seance there, and uh, we, we talked and met, and over the years, uh, you know, formed a really good friendship. And uh, it kind of 
I had uh, Kreskin write the introduction to Ghost of the Quad Cities as well as, as Erie's mm -hmm. Quad Cities. And we also did another book together called uh, Conversations with Kreskin. It's about his life. It's, oh, cool. it's just a total, I spent two years interviewing him. It was an yeah. uh, incredible journey. I me. bet. <laughs> and you know, there's more to come from the, the, the Erie a series, right? And you guys oh, are yeah. doing something else, right? I don't know <laughs> yeah. if you can talk about oh, it. Oh yeah, yet, but I could, I, I I could talk a little bit about it, but I am going to do a, uh, a sequel to Erie Quad Cities. I'm co-writing it with uh, a good friend of mine who's taken photographs for the last uh, last books called oh, Bruce cool. Walters. I can't really say that much about it, but it's uh, if you right. like the, right. these books, try. you'll like what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, and you know, people can go on Amazon, right, and get, Amazon, and get these books and any local the, bookstores. Oh, there's right? a lot of local bookstores. We got Barnes right. and Noble. We have uh, uh, we have uh, the, the Book Rack. Uh, yeah. Uh, Spellbound, Skeleton Key, Obsidian and Sage. Besides order online. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Thanks for coming in. We're going to chat with you after we watch the series one more time. But, but thanks, man, for being here. I appreciate it. And okay. coming up today on Living Local, we feature the creepy side of the Quad Cities, the Quad City Sasquatch, the Spider Monkey Specter of Sylvan Island, Pepe the River Monster, and, of course, the Banshee of Brady Street. That's all ahead. Stay with us.